what is going on kiba crew kiba family we have a very very important video for you guys today as this first slide suggests we are going over the v2 migration process and the most popular frequently asked questions this was by request from you as the community and of course we at kiba inu want to be as transparent with you as possible so i hope you guys will learn a lot from this video, understand what the migration process looks like, and hopefully this answers most of your questions. Now that we have that out of the way, let's get into the rest of this video. Very first question is, what is migration? Well, in our scenario, a migration is the process of moving to a new and or better smart contract, so an upgrade, and relaunching on the respective networks. So in our case, Binance Smart Chain and the Ethereum networks. Moving on to question number two, why are we moving to a new contract and relaunching? Well, as mentioned before, we are upgrading and our current contract has served us very well up until this point. Having a renounced contract has helped us put down our roots while maintaining investor confidence. Now that Kiba Inu has established itself as a trusted brand, it is time to position ourselves for long-term growth. This means having a contract that is flexible, secure, and innovative. Primarily, the new contract will enable us to change taxes and tokenomics as we grow, which has always served as an explosive catalyst for other successful projects in the space. We are extremely excited for this new contract. It removes any barriers for mass adoption and aligns ourselves for top-tier centralized exchange listings. So again, as mentioned before, this is an upgrade. It allows us to be flexible with our contract so we can continue to be innovative and push Kiba Inu to the heights that we all know that it is capable of. What are the benefits of a migration? No matter how you look at it, the migration is extremely bullish for Kiba Inu. Below are some key benefits of the V2 migration. First off, no more 9% transfer tax. That means you can send your Kiba tokens to any wallet and you will not be taxed. So for example, let's say you're holding a very big bag in one wallet and you would like to spread it out between other wallets. So let's say if your one wallet is compromised, you don't lose all of your tokens. Well, you can now send your Kiba Inu from wallet to wallet without having to worry about that 9% tax. Yes, you heard it correctly. No more 9% tax on transfers from wallet to wallet. There will also be no more 9% tax on the bridge. Yes, bridging will be free. Keep in mind though that you will still have to pay the network fees, aka the gas. So for example, the Ethereum gas or the Binance Smart Chain gas in our scenario. It also gives us the capability of being flexible to lower taxes as we grow. Most successful projects have lower taxes at higher market caps to become more appealing to whales and other investors. Now, Kiba has the ability to finally change taxes as we see fit with the new contract. Improved liquidity. Although our current liquidity is great, we understand it can be improved. The new contract will allow us to introduce liquidity tax on each buy and sell, which will help strengthen our liquidity pools on both the Ethereum and Binance Smart Chain chains. It also allows us to become more appealing and friendly to top tier centralized exchanges. Getting listed on top tier exchanges is a rigorous process. The new contract will give us more control to make the necessary changes and remove blockers from getting listed. Obviously that is very bullish news. Better gas optimization. Due to the improvements in the contract, it will present you with the best optimized gas prices even during high network traffic times. Overall improved security of the contract. Improving security will be an ongoing goal. The migration process gives us the opportunity to build the new contract from the ground up while having stronger security in mind. So everything that goes along with this migration process is of course thinking about you, the investors first, and making sure Kiba Inu is in the best possible position to succeed. And again, go to the lengths that we know that it is very capable of. Question number four, when is the migration slash relaunch? The new contract relaunch date has not been confirmed yet. The team is working hard each day behind the scenes to make sure the migration process is a success. We will update the community as soon as we have more details. If you guys are active in the Telegram, you would have known that our original relaunch date was going to be this coming Tuesday on the 22nd, so February 22nd, 2022. However, due to market conditions, we are delaying that process because this V2 migration process is going to be a huge catalyst for Kiba to propel itself into the big leagues where we know it should be. Right now, we're very, very undervalued, and we want to use the market conditions to our advantage to make sure we have the best possible relaunch, and this is all with you, the investor, in mind, okay? 
So don't ever for a second doubt that we aren't doing this for you guys or we're delaying it because we aren't working hard because trust me, all of us are working very, very hard. And of course, you guys, the investors, are exactly where all of our hearts are. And we want to do this and make sure it's the best possible relaunch for all of you. And we really do appreciate all of your patience and your support as we move throughout this process. Again, we will update you when we know more. Will the relaunch be on both chains? So Binance Smart Chain and Ethereum in our case. Yes, the contract will be migrated and relaunched on both Binance Smart Chain and the Ethereum chains. Do I need to do something to get my new tokens? If you are holding in Trust Wallet or MetaMask, you are not required to send us your old tokens. However, there is a 5% bonus if you do send them to us. This means you will receive 5% extra tokens back just for sending your old tokens to us. We highly recommend sending your old tokens so that we can have a stronger starting liquidity pool in the new contract. So not only does it benefit you guys to send it to us so we have a stronger liquidity pool, but you also get an additional 5% for doing so. Now, if you don't send us your old tokens, you will still be airdropped one to one of your current tokens, but you simply won't receive that extra 5% bonus please keep in mind that being eligible for airdrop means holding and not selling any of your old tokens so if you sell any of your old tokens we can't airdrop you all right so hold on to those tokens wait till you get airdropped your new tokens and then you can do what you please now if you're holding in a centralized exchange you do not need to do anything do not send your old tokens anywhere if you're holding on a centralized exchange when the time is right your old tokens will be swapped by the respective centralized exchange so whatever exchange you're holding on, they will do the swap for you. Once we provide each centralized exchange with the new tokens, each centralized exchange will take the necessary actions to swap your old tokens. So this question has come up a lot, so that's why it's on our list twice. But again, what if I hold my tokens at a centralized exchange? Do I need to do anything? And the answer again is no, they will do all the work for you. Are the new tokens airdropped or claimed via portal? So we already went over this a little bit, but if you're holding in Trust Wallet or MetaMask, the new tokens will be airdropped to all existing holders. That means you do not need to do anything to receive your new tokens. Note, you may need to add the new contract address to your wallet to view the new tokens. But also keep in mind, if you send your tokens to us, which we will let you know when that window occurs, you will receive an additional 5% tokens from what you currently hold. But if you don't want to do that, you can just hold tight, don't sell any of your tokens, and you will be airdropped one for one. If you're holding in a centralized exchange, your old tokens will again be swapped by your respective centralized exchange. Once we provide each centralized exchange with new tokens, they will take the necessary actions to swap your old tokens. Are the buy and sell taxes lowered immediately at relaunch? Yes, the new taxes will be 6 for each buy and sell, and the corresponding tokenomics will be 5% going to marketing and 1% going to the liquidity pool. So to recap, the taxes on buys and sells will be 6%. There'll be no taxes on transfers from wallet to wallet. And the tokenomic breakup will be 5% to the marketing wallet and 1% to the liquidity pool. How soon will I get my new tokens? If you're holding in Trust Wallet or MetaMask, once the new contract is successfully launched, the team will begin airdropping the holders that were part of the snapshot. Keep in mind that the airdrop will happen in waves. That means there will be multiple airdrops to cover over 34,000 plus, so your patience will be greatly appreciated throughout this process. We cannot tell you which airdrop you will be a part of, so being patient during this process is key for a smoother migration, but trust us, you will get your tokens. And if you're holding in a centralized exchange, we cannot predict how soon each centralized exchange will swap your old tokens. Each centralized exchange will be provided with the new tokens that they need in order to follow the necessary steps to swap your old tokens. Unfortunately, this is out of our control and you will need to be patient with your centralized exchange in order to get your new tokens. All right. So patience throughout this entire process. If you're holding on MetaMask or Trust Wallet, then you will be airdropped from us. And if you're holding on a centralized exchange, we will give them the new tokens and then they will take the necessary steps to transfer you the new tokens from your old ones. Now, I know a lot of this information is redundant, but we want to make sure every single question that you guys have been asking us gets answered. So we appreciate all of your patience and understanding. 11, how many new tokens will I get? Is it a one-to-one -one ratio? You will receive the same amount of tokens you had at the time of the snapshot. And yes, it'll be a one-to-one -one ratio. What will be the total supply of the new contract? The total supply will remain the same. 2 trillion in total with 1 trillion on each corresponding chain. So 1 trillion on the Binance Smart Chain and 1 trillion on the Ethereum Chain or a total of 2 trillion between the two chains. Are we relaunching at the same price? The price will be the same or very similar to the price at the time of the snapshot. 
So that means whenever the snapshot is taken, whatever price we're at, we will do our absolute best to launch at that very same price. Are we relaunching with the same amount of liquidity? The new liquidity will be the same or better than the current liquidity. We're aiming to have a higher liquidity so the price will have less fluctuations during sell pressure. As some of you know, liquidity was a concern for some top holders or whales. And that is why with this new contract, a portion of all buys and sells will be added to that liquidity. And it also gives us the ability to add to the liquidity pool as we see necessary. 15. What are the new tokenomics of the new contract? So the new tokenomics are a total of 6% on all buys and sells. 5% going to the marketing wallet and 1% going to the liquidity pool on, again, each buy and sell or a total of 6% tax. Note that there will be a 15% sell tax for the first 24 hours after relaunching. This is to discourage paper hands and to help our treasury fill up faster. What happens to my old tokens? Do I need to send it anywhere? When the time is right, the team will request you to send your old tokens to our deployer address. Your old tokens will be used to drain the old liquidity pool so that the new liquidity can be added to the new contract. This is not a required step, but we do highly recommend you send your old tokens if you have the means to do so, and you will also receive that additional 5%. This will greatly help to have a better liquidity in the new contract from the very beginning. Important note, when the time comes, the team will pin the necessary details and the deployer address to send your tokens. We cannot stress this enough that you do not send your tokens anywhere other than what is communicated by the official team. We will suspect that there will be many scammers during this process trying to take advantage of our investors. Again, do not send your tokens anywhere unless you hear communication from the official Kiba Inu team. So that means if anybody tries to DM you, trying to pose as an official team member, do not listen to them. We will have communication lines from the official teams. So do what you have to do to make sure that you're sending to the correct address, which again will be communicated from the official team. And of course, if you do not feel confident throughout this process or you feel that you might mess something up, you can just hold tight and you'll be airdropped your tokens, but you will not be eligible for that extra 5%. Is there a time limit or deadline to send my old tokens? Yes, you will have 48 hours from the initial announcement to send your old tokens. Important note, do not send your old tokens anywhere until you hear communication from the official Kiba Inu team. Of course, if you don't send your old tokens, as long as you're holding your old tokens at the time of the snapshot and you don't sell those tokens, you will still receive your airdrop, so you have nothing to worry about. This is just talking for the people that want to send their tokens to get the additional 5%, or if you're just looking to help out with the liquidity pool. Why should I send my tokens? Well, we've said it a few times now, but you'll get an additional 5% tokens on the new contract when you send your tokens to us. If you don't send your tokens and you don't sell, you just simply hold on to them, you will get the same amount you are holding now via airdrop. Will my gas be reimbursed? No, we will not reimburse gas fees directly, but we will give you an extra 5% tokens if you send your tokens to us. Number 20. What if I sell within these 48 hours? Well, you won't be airdropped. It doesn't matter how many tokens you sell, you won't be airdropped on the V2 contract. Even if you sell just a little amount, we will not airdrop you. This is to make sure the liquidity pool and the market cap stay healthy for the V2 contract. So again, once this 48 hour window starts from the time of that snapshot, do not sell any of your tokens, not even one token, Otherwise, you will not be airdropped your brand new V2 tokens. This is very, very important. Do not sell your old V1 tokens until you have your V2 tokens, all right? At that point, the V1 tokens won't have very much value. But at that point, if you just want to erase it from your wallet, you can totally do so. But until you have your V2 tokens and the proper amount in your possession, do not touch your V1 tokens as far as selling goes. Of course, if you're looking to send us the tokens, you can totally do that to receive that extra 5%, but do not sell your V1 tokens. Next question, what if I buy within these 48 hours? Well, we also will not airdrop you since we're in the middle of the migration. So don't buy and don't sell during this time frame. Buy the new V2 contract instead when that is live. So let's say you buy more during this 48 hours. We will simply deduct the amount that you had at the time of the snapshot and you will only receive the amount of tokens at the time of the snapshot and not the new tokens that you bought on the old V1 contract. So again, if you wanna buy new tokens, once this 48 hour window starts for the migration process, please wait until V2 is live, then you can buy those. But up until that point, 
Do not buy or sell any of your V1 tokens within this 48-hour window. Will I get taxed for sending my old tokens? Yes, you will be taxed 9% for sending your old tokens to the deployer address because of the old contract and how it's written. However, the team will ensure that you are airdropped the same correct amount based on the snapshots. You will not lose any tokens during this migration. So yes, when you send it to us initially, there'll be a 9% difference. But once you receive the V2 tokens via airdrop, it will be accounted for and you will have the same amount of tokens that you had at the time of sending it to us. What will you do with my old tokens? Your old tokens will be used to drain the old liquidity and add them to the V2 contract. This will help us greatly to start the new contract with a healthier liquidity. This step is essential since our current liquidity is locked for one year. Will I still get airdropped if I don't send my old tokens? Yes, you will still get airdropped as long as you just held on to your tokens. Meaning, if you sold your own Kiba Inu during the 48-hour cutoff period, you will not get airdropped. So again, we can't stress that enough. Once this 48-hour window for the migration process happens, so long you just hold on to your tokens, you will be airdropped one for one what you currently have. Of course, if you send us the tokens during that time, send us, not sell, you will receive an additional 5% tokens for your kindness. But again, do not sell during this migration process. Not even one token. What if my funds are stuck in the bridge? Well, we'll take care of you. And if it's available, the swap ID and we'll make sure your tokens are received on the new contract. Are we removing the current 9% transfer tax after migration? Yes, the new wallet to wallet transfer tax will be removed immediately upon the new contract launch. That means you can send your tokens to any wallet for free. Network gas still applies. I know we've gone over a few of these questions in a roundabout way in the other questions, but we want to be as thorough as possible. These are all questions that have been asked, so we want to make sure that you guys have your answers. Are we removing the 9% bridge tax after migration? Yes, the bridge tax will be removed immediately upon the launch of the new contract. That means you can bridge your tokens for free, but of course, the network gas fees still apply. Question 28, what is the overall migration process? There are a lot of moving parts behind the scenes, but below are some high level steps. Step one, trading is paused slash stopped on the Binance Smart Chain. We can't stop trading on the Ethereum chain since the contract is renounced. Remember, don't sell your tokens during this migration window. Step two, snapshot is taken. Step three, current holders send their old tokens over to the Kiba deployer address. You have 48 hours to send. If you don't send it, you'll just be airdropped one for one. But if you do send, you get an additional 5%. Step four, old contract liquidity is drained with old tokens. Step five, new contract is launched with new liquidity and again, fully tested. Step six, all existing holders are airdropped new tokens. And finally, step seven, trading continues as normal on the brand new V2 contract. How many days will migration take? We anticipate the migration will take approximately 24 to 72 hours. 72 hours obviously being on the longer side. Hopefully the process is much quicker than that. But of course things can go wrong. Hopefully nothing happens. But we anticipate anywhere between 24 to 72 hours. When will you take the snapshot? Snapshot date is not yet confirmed. The team may not announce the snapshot date to safeguard holders from potentially being taken advantage of. Either way, we will update the community as soon as more details are available. Will trading pause slash stop before the snapshot? Yes, trading will be paused slash stopped before the snapshot is taken. This will prevent any more buying after the snapshot and potentially losing their tokens. Note that we can only stop the trading on the Binance Smart Chain and not the Ethereum Chain since the contract is renounced. Question 32. Are we renouncing the new contract after migration is complete? No, we will not renounce the contract on both the Binance Smart Chain and the Ethereum Chain. Renouncing the contract defeats the purpose of the entire migration process because we will not be able to make the necessary contract updates in the future if we do renounce. Also, top tier exchanges require us to own the contract if we want to get listed. Are we locking liquidity after the migration is complete? Yes, liquidity will be locked for one year on both the Binance and Ethereum chains. The team will notify the community once the lock has been completed. 34. Is the new contract going to be audited? Yes, the new contract will be audited post-migration by Certec, and the team will strive for an even higher Certec score than what we have today. Will there be any changes to the Kiba Inu name or symbol? No, absolutely nothing will change with the Kiba Inu name, our brand, or the symbol. And I mean, who would want to change that symbol anyway? I mean, have you seen how many teams have had it right on the front? Ooh, so clean. Looks so good. Will there be an AMA before the migration? Yes, the team will host AMAs before 
and or during the migration to ensure the community is kept updated throughout the process. We will notify the Telegram and Twitter communities as they are scheduled. Are we going to get a new chart? Yes, both Binance Smart Chain and Ethereum Chains will have brand new charts since we are migrating to a brand new contract with new addresses. Question 38. Will there be staking with the new contract? No, staking is not planned yet at this time. However, staking may be possible in the future if it aligns with our goals and the Kiba ecosystem. Question 39. Is the new contract deflationary? Yes, the new contract will be deflationary. We will not introduce any automatic burn mechanics. However, the bridge wallet and buybacks will take tokens out of circulation, which reduces circulating supply in the long run. And finally, the last question, question number 40. I know it felt like we were never going to get here, but here we are. Will I still get reflections with the new contract? The answer is no. Reflections will be replaced by a liquidity pool tax, which will help strengthen our liquidity pool on both the Binance Smart Chain and Ethereum chains which we know in the long run is what we want. And as we move forward, we know reflections are not friendly with getting listings on top centralized exchanges. So we'd have to get rid of it eventually anyway. And why not apply it to the liquidity pool so we can have an even beefier liquidity pool. And it takes off all of that sell pressure when we do go through those times. And overall, again, it's just what's best for Kiba Inu moving forward and best for you guys as the investors. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we finally made it to the end of this video. I know that was a lot to get through, and I know some of the questions were redundant. However, we wanted to answer all the most popular questions that everybody was asking. So hopefully you got a lot out of this video. And if you haven't already, go ahead and check out our official Twitter page at Keep It New World. Give us a follow there. Stay up to date with us. We have a lot of wonderful information and updates always going out there. And of course, if you like today's video, definitely hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and leave a comment down below as it helps push this to other Kiba Inu family members and other potential investors that might want to get into Kiba Inu. We really do appreciate all of your support. This is going to be a wonderful, wonderful migration process. I know it will be. I can feel it in my soul. We are doing this all for you guys. Trust us. This is for the betterment of Kiba Inu moving forward. And once we get past this process, this will all just be something in the far distant past. But for now, let's focus on what's right in front of us. Let's band together. Let's be patient with each other. Let's be understanding. And a few months from now, we will be in a much, much better place. But anyway, we appreciate you guys. We love you guys. We really, really do. We're a family here. This is the Kiba crew, the Kiba family. Of course, keep doing the damn thing. Keep letting people know that we mean business, that we're here. Our name is not going anywhere, and we are just getting started. Again, shout out to the community. Shout out to you guys. Without you, none of this would be possible. We really do appreciate you all. But I'm going to get this video ready for you all. I appreciate you. We love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.